parallel connecting to 12 volt batteries seems simple but did you know that the way you do it could affect your battery's lifespan and performance this is a 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery and this is also a 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery paralleling them together will give us a total of 12 volt 200 amp hours you need good thick cables i made this myself i usually do but you could just as easily buy them pre-made i'll leave a link in the description for some quality pre-made cables what i'm going to do now is to connect the positive to one battery to the positive to the other and negative to negative like that so what we got now is one 12 volt 200 amp hour battery pack as they are connected in parallel negative to negative positive to positive now what most people do in this scenario is that they consider this a battery and this a battery and consider this to be your main positive and main negative running cables from this side and this side to your loads it's a simple solution it will work for small systems with low power draw but what could happen is that your first battery will take more of the load because it's closer to whatever is drawing the power that will lead to an uneven discharging of the two batteries now, over time this will wear out this battery faster than this battery so for low power consumption system this will work using this as your main positive this as your main negative another way to connect your batteries in parallel is by using a bus bar system get a positive and negative bus bar in this scenario you got three batteries all the positives are connected to the positive bus bar and all the negatives to the negative bus bar this is best for equal current distribution it reduces stress on your battery terminals and it's ideal for larger systems now for two batteries in parallel i would recommend going for a balanced connection for your main positive terminal on one battery the negative terminal for the other battery for your negative this will ensure more even flow between your batteries extend your battery's lifespan and there's no extra components needed it's just a better way of wiring so to sum everything up this wiring method is okay for low power systems but over time could cause issues this wiring method is a balanced system for two batteries positive from one battery negative from the other this system using bus bars is good for bigger systems and it also gives room for expansion I hope you found this video to be useful and if you did please hit the like button it will really help me with the youtube algorithm and subscribe if you haven't already for more tips if you want to learn more about uh, batteries and off-grid solar power systems please check my guide on amazon
I'll link it in the description. And I'll also leave links to some budget-friendly batteries and cables in the description below. If anything is unclear or you think I missed something, please leave a comment. Don't forget to watch these videos next because YouTube wants you to.